Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about DALI 2 and we'll go through together the out-painting and in-painting features. DALI 2 is a language model developed by OpenAI to generate beautiful images just using a text description. What I really like about DALI 2 is that other than having the basic feature of generating images, it allows you to do out painting and it painting and it's very easy to use and it's free. So let's begin by explaining what in painting and out painting are because sometimes they are confusing. Let's assume we generate an image of a red bike on a hill and after generating it we are not completely happy with that. So within painting we can modify the image by adding, removing or um, changing little details in that picture. Like we want to add a house, we want to add a tree or we want to remove the bicycle. We can do that within painting. Without painting instead, we can extend the image to add additional items which are in line with the image. Okay, now that we have distinguished between in painting and out painting, let's put everything in practice. Okay, this is the main page of DALI 2. The first thing we want to do is to log in here on top right. If you don't have an account, you can sign up. This is for free. And the first time you sign up, you get some free credits you can use to generate your images. And those are going to be recharged after one month. If you don't want to wait for one month and you want to go ahead with your creativity, you can buy new credits. So let's log in. Consider that every time you click on generate, you lose one credit. So if you play with it a lot, you can run out of credits pretty quickly. And this is the interface. Here you have this text box where you need to type your prompt. The prompt is simply the text description of the image you want to generate. In case you don't want to generate the image yourself or if you have an image already on your computer you want to modify or adjust, you can just upload your image here. For now, let's generate an image with DALI. So in my case, I want to generate a red bicycle on a hill. One thing to clarify is that the quality of the image you are going to generate depends on the prompt you are constructing. It needs to be detailed and need to represent the picture you want. So in my case, yes, I want a red bicycle on a hill, but what I would like is also this to be kind of painted, let's say oil painted. So in this case, I can add oil paint into my prompt. As well, I would like to have big brush of oil painting, so I can write big brush, big brush paint. I would also like to have an impressionistic style painting, so what I will do, I will add at the beginning or at the end, it doesn't really matter, this detail as well. An impressionistic painting of a red bicycle on a hill, oil painting. I would like it to be a sunny day, so I can add sunny day. And that's it. This is a very small prompt, but just to give you an idea of what we have to include in it. If you like or some specific artist, you can just add something like in style by and the name of the artist. There is a quite good website I really like where there are different artists. So for example, I like Monet. We can just copy and paste here in style by Monet. And then we just press generate. And here you go, we got what we wanted. It seems pretty good. I'm not very happy here because you have some clouds, which I don't want to because it has to be a very sunny day. But we have the red bicycle, we had the heel, then the style is the correct one. So let's assume that we want to add a house here. I like this one. So I'll take this and then I'm going to press edit. Okay, as you can see, you have the brush, you have different tools here. You have the select button, the hand, you can move your frame around. And then you have the eraser, which is what we want. You have the frame, this is for the out painting. And you can also upload an image from here. And then here you can zoom in and zoom out. Whilst here you can decide the size of your brush. So if you want to erase bigger parts of your image, you can use the big one. Otherwise, if you want to go into more details, I don't know, changing the wheel, for example, you just you can just use the small one. Cool. And if you're not happy with what you just erased, which is my case, 
<laughs> you can just undo what you just done. And that's it, so now we can start in painting. Let's assume that we want a house here, this point. So we can just remove this part of the image. And then I'm going to remove this cloud as well, because as I said before, I just want a sunny day, so I don't want clouds. What I can do now, I can modify my prompt to add the house. We can write little house in background and then generate again. And let's see what happens. Nice, we have different options here. As you can see, the only part of the image that has been changed is the one I cleared before. And looking at them, I think I'm quite happy with this one. Not even the cloud anymore, and you have this little house in background, which is quite nice, it's cute. Now, let's add as well, maybe a tree, why not? So we edit again, and then here maybe, I would like to have a tree. So now what we can do, I'm gonna leave an impressionist in painting of, and I change this with tree. And then I'll keep oil paint, big brush paint, sunny day in style by Cloud Monad. I'm gonna leave the rest of the prompt and then I'm going to generate. Okay, this is what we got. I'm not really happy, probably because I have an impressionist in painting of a tree. So let's remove this part here. I'm gonna keep just a tree and generate again. Still doesn't understand very well, but here we have something like a tree maybe. I'm quite happy with that, to be honest. What I would like is the tree to be, you know, well shaped on top. And here it seems blending with the rooftop of the house, so which is quite interesting, but kind of like it. But if you are not happy with this, we can still edit it until we get what we want. So I think it's all for in painting. I just wanted to give you the idea what we can do with that. You can play with this as much as you want, it just depends on the credits you have on OpenAI. Now let's have a look at the out painting features. To do that, we click on edit again, and then instead of keeping this brush, click here, add generation frame, we cannot change the size of this frame, unfortunately, but we can do this operation more than once. So at the end, we can get what we want. Okay, let's assume that we want to enlarge in horizontal our image. So in this case, we want to just to add a little bit. And what we want to have here is just a continuation. Maybe we want the hill to continue and then we want a bridge. So we can just type bridge i'll add again sunny day and style by mona and let's see what happens as you can see here we have different options and we can go on and see what has been created by our model i'm not very happy with this result so far there is an eiffel tower here it seems to be a an eiffel tower i'm not sure what that is the one that is closer to what we want is this one but i don't know there is something like a cross here and which I don't like and there is a nice river maybe with this is quite nice but it's not really what we wanted so what we can do we can accept this and then we can use our brush and we can maybe let's resize this a little bit we can remove the cross and I want to keep this little bridge with the river I quite like the idea and I can remove maybe this part because I want it to be the heel also on this side. So bridge, crossing the heel, sunny day style by Mona. And let's see what happened. We go on the right. So we remove the cross from here, which I'm happy about, but still I'm not very happy with the bridge. So what we can do, we can accept the one we like the most, maybe this one and then I can modify the image again so you see at the end I'm using in painting and out painting together and then I'm going to just keep the heel sunny day side by Mona maybe green heel and here you go I think this is quite nice now it seems that this bridge goes to the other heel there is something green here which i kind of like it so i can accept it and finally i have my picture which is amazing this was very quick uh, i think it was pretty easy hopefully you are now able to create very beautiful images using the in painting out painting tools from dali there are other language models uh, like stable diffusion for example where you can use in painting and painting for the brushing it's quite it's quite good 
There is Mid Journey as well, but you don't have these features on Mid Journey, unfortunately, not yet at least. Hopefully, they will come out soon. And sometimes what I do, I create images with Mid Journey and then I modify them on DALI 2 or Stable Diffusion. And that's it for today. Hope you enjoyed and see you soon.